In this video, we will show you the head impulse test for peripheral vestibular dysfunction. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Mol et al. in the year 2014 described that most patients with sustained vertigo suffer from vestibular neuronitis, although a few patients, especially elderly patients with cardiovascular risk factors, are having a stroke or other serious disease in the cerebellum or brainstem. A helpful bedside maneuver to help distinguish central and peripheral causes is the head impulse test. Dross et al. in the year 2010 performed an analysis of seven studies and found a pooled sensitivity of 63% and a pooled specificity of 93%. For this reason, the head impulse test has a high clinical value to confirm peripheral vestibular dysfunction in patients with prolonged dizziness. Before you start, make sure that you only do this test in a patient with prolonged vertigo as brief episodes more likely indicate BPPV and should be tested with the Dix Hall Pike maneuver that you can watch by a click in the top right corner. To perform the test, the examiner sits in front of the patient and places a hand on each side of the patient's head. The patient is instructed to focus on the examiner's nose and the examiner focuses on the patient's eyes. The patient should keep their eyes open even if vertigo symptoms worsen. Now the examiner quickly turns the patient's head towards the side to be tested while watching the patient's eyes. Afterwards, the head is slowly returned to neutral and the process is repeated several times. The test is positive for peripheral vestibular dysfunction if the patient's eyes move away with the head and then quickly return the gaze to the clinician's nose at the end of rotation. This is called corrective saccade, which occurs due to an abnormal vestibulo-ocular reflex. In a patient suffering from a central lesion, the test will be negative and the patient is able to maintain the gaze on the examiner's nose during rapid head movements to both sides without corrective saccades. Weber et al. in the year 2008 stressed that the head impulse test appears to be more sensitive when the rotations are performed quickly and recommend repetitions in order to avoid false negative results. Alright, this was our video on the head impulse test. If you are curious about another test for peripheral vestibular dysfunction, check out the head shaking nystagmus test in the video right next to me. A lot of this information and much more can be found on our future course on the spine on our website study.physiotutors.com. Of course, we'll be happy if you leave a like and follow our channel. This was Kaiser Physiotutors. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.